Today I'm going to be going to another antique mall called Gardendale Pickers. This one is one that I actually showed on a previous video. Um, this one opened during the pandemic, so they're doing really well for themselves. They have a lot of booths that are very well stocked and some really cool things. And my air conditioner was cutting out, that's why I'm doing a voiceover for this part. Um, but I am about to flip it back to Pastor Brie and let her do a little more explaining, so here we go. Um, but it does still have some really good stuff. There is a set of uranium glass, plates, bowls, cups, a whole set, and it is really cool. They did want like $30 a piece, so I'm not going to pick it up, that's just way too much. But I did want to see if I could film it. Uh, my friend will be here as well. We are taking our weekly lunch girls day together. Um, so I may or may not get a, a lot of footage here, but we will definitely do a haul once I get home, so stay tuned for that. So coming in the door, there is this case off to the right, and I saw this decanter, this really pretty blue decanter. I don't see any markings on it. It doesn't look like it's signed, but it was such a pretty color, so I had to stop and take a look at it. So this place is really big. They have a lot of space, a lot of empty space for people to still come in and get their, their booths set up. So if you're in the area and you're looking for a place to go, this is definitely a prime location. We definitely have a lot of ground to cover today. It's a really cool bench over here. So I spotted these tables. It looks like it's got like the pearl inlays, and it is such an, a this is such a cool design. Two hundred and fifty dollars for this table. Wow, that's really cool. It's a really nice hutch over here. I love the flat floral details. What are you? This is really pretty. Only $12.95. Oh, it has, it's numbered. Made in Italy. So we're gonna take it. 301 out of 406. That's really cool. So into the first booth on the wall over here. It's a little velvet egg. Not sure what he's used for, maybe a bell? carnival glass and a marble bowl, marble cup, uncertain. <laughs> More sailboats. There are a lot of sailboats here. A little tile. And this looks quite vintage. They wanted $25 a piece though. These were cool. They were made in China, though. So this piece always have, has a lot of um, really interesting glass pieces, which you know if you've seen any of my previous videos. I love art glass. <laughs> These were both really cool, but they wanted $20 a piece for them. This little owl was cute. I wish he was colored. The same with this little deer. Controlled bubbles in here. Eighteen dollars. This little guy's cute. Let's see what's up top. <coughs> well, this is some aqua hobnail. It's really pretty. I want to say this is Fenton, but I'm not for certain, and that actually had a chip on the bottom, or else I would have taken that with me. It's a cute little cat handle. Let's see what's on the back wall over here. Looks like a paperweight of the world. $12. Oh, and a jellyfish. But they wanted $30 for this one. That's a bit steep for me. A 
Is this Wedgwood? I'm not sure. I'm still learning. I see these a lot, but I'm, I'm not really sure what the name of them is. I definitely need to do some research on it. Let's see, this guy's really pretty. He's very delicate. Some more figurines. Ooh, these little clover dishes with these ashtrays. Glass bowl, shamrock, as is. Mmm, does this one have some damage? Oh, it does have some damage. That's unfortunate. This is an interesting top. Oh, and it's signed. I want $35 for it, though. This is pretty. Also made in Italy. $12. I'm gonna have to think about this one. I might come back for it. Little fish dish. Also made in Italy. Um, but it's got some cracking. Some chips. That's unfortunate. So I accidentally hit my um, time lapse button. So this is slightly sped up, but I did find some cool things. So I did want to include it just so you could get a glimpse. Um, I do end up realizing it soon. <laughs> so just bear with me while I speed through these. This was really cool. And this booth was really interesting. They had um, some hanging grapes, which was really cool. A lot of salt and pepper shakers. I have to check each one, of course. This clown was interesting. Definitely vintage. And this lampshade, that was really cool. I figured it out. <laughs> I wanted 55 for this really cool lamp, but I just don't have the space for that. Cowgirl trinket box. Oh, that strawberry dish is really nice. Anything over here? So I actually looked this up. It's a plum made from Italy, but it does come with a little leaf bowl. Um, and in this case, it was missing, and they don't sell too well without that leaf bowl. So unfortunately, I did end up leaving this behind. I was sad about it, though, of course. Some crystal. Some more depression glass. Look at these. Oh, that's a little lucky cat. Look how cute they are. Made in China. $24. Mm, those are still there when I go back. I'm definitely going to grab them. And again, more sailboats. They are popular here. $28 for the brass dolphins. And these are salt and pepper shakers. That's interesting, I've never seen one like that before. Oh, a hand carved trivet. Very nice, very nice. So we were having a debate, are these baskets or suitcases? Not, not the big ones, but the wicker ones on the bottom. That's a really pretty color. Another decanter, made in Italy. This is an anchor hawking, fire king glass. I've never seen the design like this before. That was really neat. Nine dollars. Some brass goblets. Brass boot, a lot of brass in this booth. 
Made in India. Ooh, this guy is really interesting. The bookend. Oh, where's your partner? A little divided bowl. That's really pretty. Twenty-five dollars though. Twenty-four dollars. My bad. Let's see what we have over here. Some fruit. Is this a candle holder? Looks like it. I thought it at first that it was an ashtray. Fifteen dollars. I didn't even see this vase down here. Got some glass pears. Another hand glown, hand glown, <laughs> hand blown vase. That was a really pretty color. Little wood carved box. More butter dishes. Her chill. Oh, what are you? I actually don't know what this guy is. Some more pink depression glass back there. Got another really pretty vase. Very uncontrolled bubbles in this guy. <laughs> Little puppies. I have a couple of these ceramic kittens. I do not need to pick up any more. Moving right along. I saw this little bear. It's a viking. It's really cool. I have a lot of trinkets and figurines in this, in this case over here. A little goldfish. Those kittens were cute. Some salt and peppers. What are you? A little piggy bank? Oh, you're missing your stopper. That's unfortunate. I probably would have grabbed that guy. We have a whole case of salt and pepper shakers over here. So I've seen this design quite a few times, but I cannot figure out for the life of me what it's called. If you have any ideas, please leave a comment down below. I am really wanting to know and I can't find anything anywhere this guy was cute he's a little bank as well but he was also missing his stopper I love the pattern on him a little duck Kathy 04 good job Kathy that's cute so I really wanted to get this guy but for $18 that's kind of what they were selling for some of them were a little higher, but I didn't really want to take the chance on that, so I did put it back. I really like it, though. There's a little music box. Betty Boop lunch box. Or a purse? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> elephants over here. This guy was really lightweight. A 
All right, we have a Pyrex case over here. Let's see. I see mushrooms. Ugh. I really hoped that this was gonna be worth something, but unfortunately they had it priced at just about what it was selling for. And I almost kept it for myself because as we know, I do love mushrooms. But unfortunately I did end up putting it back. I just couldn't justify paying $18 for it right now. Maybe one day I'll go back for it if it's still there. So this little kitten I actually did end up picking up. I didn't show it on the video, but it was only $7. And I thought it was really cute, so I did pick it up. More carnival glass. There's a lot of interesting colors here. I love this green to the yellow. this is a pencil holder with a pencil sharpener that's really cool I haven't seen anything like that before a little skunk on it though some hobnail Salt and pepper shakers? Could not make out what that said. Even in the store, I could not read it. So I left those. This is so pretty. It's like an opalescent carnival glass bowl. I did look it up, and unfortunately, they also had it priced at roughly what it was selling online, so I did leave it. A lot of milk glass here. This booth is a very tight squeeze, but we are gonna try to make our way through. Feeling a little claustrophobic here though. There is not much space to maneuver. Let's see what's back here. Some Windex. <laughs> Doing some cleaning back here. And some Huggies. <laughs> That's not very nice. Nothing really crazy over here. What's on the other side? Some Beanie Babies down there. I actually had this one as a kid. He was my favorite. It's fun to find him again. Some Sunday Bowls. These are a pretty color. Nothing too crazy back here. Let's get out of here. So here is the glowing glass set that I had mentioned in the beginning. And I wanted to show my friend because she's never seen it before. But look at how pretty this is. Unfortunately, they were asking $30 per piece. So obviously I left all of it. <laughs> I actually did find a little glowing sherbet dish, I think is what it's called. And I will show that in my haul, so stay tuned for that. All right, let's get into this haul. It's gonna be a very quick one, and this is a few days later, so apologize for my disheveledness. <laughs> um, so the first thing that I actually picked up was this Made in Italy. It's a little candy dish. The detail on it was really nice, and I loved the colors of it, and it's in really good condition. I paid $12.95 for this, and it is marked 301 of 406 which I thought that, that was really cool and for $13 um, I figured I'd give it a shot and see what I could get out of it so that's the first piece the second piece like I said in the video I didn't show putting it in my cart but I did end up going back for it and it's this little I don't know if it's Fenton or not but it does look a lot like Fenton and it's really pretty it's got like an iridescent sheen to it and it was $7 so again, I love art glass, so I figured I'd take a shot. So the last piece, I didn't actually show on camera me picking it up, but you can see it in my cart a couple of times. And it is this 
uranium glass. I think that these are called sherbet dishes because they're smaller. Um, but also I have my handy dandy UV light. It does glow very bright. <laughs> Super pretty. I am going to add this to my collection. I do have um, another little tiny bowl that I also have. And it's listed on my eBay store, but I think I'm going to take it down and start my own little collection. <laughs> because I love just getting to see this. And I want to create a case, of a, like a black light case. Um, and start displaying all of my uranium glass. <laughs> so I know this was a short haul <laughs> and I apologize. I did get more things. Um, we took a break and went to get lunch. So that will be video number two. Um, same place, but she will. my friend will only be with me for part of it. She did have to go pick up her kids. So with that said, if you liked the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. And if you want to come back for more, I do try to post videos every Tuesday and Friday with the occasional Wednesday, Thursday videos sprinkled in. Um, so hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you never miss a video. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>